I'm Michelle and I'm Liz and I am incredibly jealous because Michelle got to visit oh no sorry got to meet my one of my favorite well she probably is my favorite actress who was it Dame Judi Dench and why did you meet her without me <laughs> well because you're away for a start it's otherwise really obviously we go together <laughs> but um I was at a charity event for Main Chance Horse Sanctuary, which is run by Jenny Seagro, who was one of our very first guests, actually. And mm -hmm. she's kept in touch. She's been amazing to us. And she runs this horse sanctuary in Surrey that is uh, to rehab rescued and uh, abused horses. And then she introduces them to the community. The things that she and the people that work at Main Chance have done are incredible. It's incredible, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, so working patient. with kids who have sort of adjustment problems mm -hmm. and you know, they, they find an inner calm just by being I, with yeah. horses. It's, it's a wonderful charity. It's a wonderful charity. It's even more wonderful because I got to meet Jane, Dame Judy Dench. So the format was um, on a stage. It was um, Dame Judy Dench and her daughter, Finty Williams, and her grandson, Sam, who actually is a really well-known uh, TikToker. Well, he did because they, they during lockdown have Judy. He was kept asking Judy questions. Yes. It was so funny. It was <laughs> brilliant. He was having her do all these <laughs> dances and... Um, oh, I think they questions. did one with well, they did one with Louis Theroux, yeah, which is oh, it went yeah. completely viral. Yeah. So he's got a ton, ton mm. of people that mm. follow him. And Finty, she is also in acting. Yeah. She's she's more stage, isn't she? Than the, yeah, the, she yeah. does a lot yeah. of stage work. Mm. She she was delightful to meet too. Oh, oh, sorry, just yes. I was going to say <laughs> yes. yes. Anything else you want to say? To. <laughs> but anyway, so they um, answered questions. It was very anecdotal. Lots of stories mm. about. Um, and Dame Judy was working in Skyfall. And what, one thing I didn't know was that um, she was only up there for 24 hours to film all these scenes, these iconic wow. James Bond scenes. Apparently she went up there by train, did the scenes, and she was out of there in 24 hours. Extraordinary. Very good time management. <laughs> yeah, very, very good. Um, so it was lovely. It was sort of a lot of questions and answers. And then at the end, um, and I don't know if you know this, but um, she suffers from macular degeneration. It's quite widely reported that mm. she can no longer read scripts very well. So she does everything from her photographic memory. She memorizes everything. And she memorized this soliloquy. Oh my gosh. Just to hear her voice and to be so close mm. to it, it sent a shiver down my spine. And I have heard that she hates being called. In fact, Vinti said she hates being called acting Unless, royalty and a, a national, national treasure. treasure but she, she is. is i'm sorry she has to accept that one she is a national yeah. treasure yeah so this wonderful woman uh, spent two hours on stage and then she came across and meant uh and then she came across what two hours she was, it was about two hours wow. yeah and then she came and she met some people and mm -hmm. i was lucky enough to be amongst the people that she met you made sure you were at the front <laughs> <laughs> that's why god gave me elbows <laughs> But, um, so my mother is the same age as mm. Dame Judy, she's 88. So after two hours of being on stage and just being like vibrant and, and giggly and fun and, and recounting mm. all these stories, she's then on her feet for an, at least, what, 45 minutes more. She doesn't sit down once. She greets everybody. She smiles. She giggles. She mm. signs. She has photographs. She did not destroy my original thought of what yeah, and my hopes of what she would some, be. Yeah, some actors just are not quite as Well, she friendly. is in the stratosphere of, yeah. of theatrical people yeah. in this country, isn't she? But she couldn't have been nicer. Oh, so nice she was hear. absolutely wonderful. So I took the opportunity um, to ask um, Dame Judy and Finty and Jenny Seagrove what the best thing is about being an older woman and this is what they said so dame judy dench i would love to know what's the most wonderful thing about being an older woman there's no such thing that's the most wonderful thing there is no such thing and clint eastwood who i had the pleasure of doing a film with said don't let the old man in well the same goes for women there's no such thing <laughs> There's nothing to tell about being no, older. Nothing. Oh, okay. nothing at all. <laughs> well, at least that's honest. <laughs> and um, delightfully. 
So, Finty Williams, can you tell me what is the best thing about being a midlife woman? I think the absolute best thing about being a midlife woman is the fact that I'm too old to have any more children, but because of the job that I do, I gather younger people around me and I sort of look on them as an extended family and I don't have to worry about, you know, whether I'm the thinnest, the most glamorous, it's just me. And also I dyed my hair pink just before Christmas and it was great and my mother couldn't tell me I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I've also got 15 tattoos, none of which she can tell me not to have either. <laughs> That's fantastic. I've always wanted to dye my hair pink. You have to do it. Yes, come and write a passage perhaps. 100%. So, Jenny Seagrove, what would you say is the best thing about being an older woman? Well, first of all, I echo Dame Judi Dench that there is no such thing as an older woman. However... If you want me to be pedantic, what is great about being an older woman is that you you feel still incessantly young and ridiculous, but you don't care so much about what you look like or what people think about you. And it's really liberty, liberating. I remember my gran said to me, oh, now I'm 80-something and I'm not 80-something, but still, I don't care what people think about me anymore. And I thought, really? And she's right. I care less. Obviously, I still care. I'm an actress. We care about what people think. But I care less. Well, I couldn't agree more. Says it all, really, doesn't it? Thanks, ladies. Thank you.